Hello friends, welcome to Google IT Help. Let's fix a very common error in the auto -it script. When we are trying to interact with the SQLite database. And this is the very common error, SQLite 3.dll can't be loaded if you are trying somewhere in your script. So basically this uh, error cause is SQLite.dll.au3 file. We need the latest file and we need to replace the old one with new. Follow my instruction and I will quickly show you how you can fix it in few steps. Let's begin. Step one. First, we have already read a script which is auto SQLite update it.au3 at this location. This location is the installed auto it location. So you can find this script inside the extras folder. Okay, let me take you inside that folder. So I have installed my auto it program here in the C drive. Now I'm inside the auto it folder in the extras auto update. And you can see here we have this script. Now we need to run this script only. So we will get the updated target file. So do the right click, go this way. When you run it, you will see this installer, small installer, installer window. And here we have some option because I have, I have already downloaded it and run it. That's why I'm getting this message already downloaded. But in your case, this will be different. And this will start downloading the SQLite, the latest version. And this will be downloaded from the internet to this location. Please note down this location, which is the important one. This is inside the user's app data folder. Okay, I will show you what I'm talking and what is the use of this download. Once the download is finished, we need to go to that location and we need to copy this sqlite.dll.au3. This is the important script, which is meshing up and not able to load the SQLite DLL. Okay, now I'm going to the location, which is inside the users, and this is the user MacWin. And inside the MacWin, we have to go here in the app data folder. Basically, app data folder is a hidden folder, and uh, generally this will not appear. You have to go here in the view option, then you have to do a checkbox check, then this hidden folder will be visible. Then you can go inside, go inside the local and here we have auto it v3 folder. Then we have the SQLite folder. Inside the SQLite folder, you will find this target file. And simply I will copy this file from this place. Okay, which is the step two. So I have copied this file and then I have to go to this new path. This is the installed auto it location. Okay. On that place, I will put this copied file. So I'm going to the installed path of the auto it, which is in the C drive inside the program files. So this is the folder for the auto it. Now inside the include, I will paste that copied file. So this file is already present. You can see and compare what is the difference, but this is the important step. So you can save that, that previous file as well somewhere, take as a backup and you can paste it or overwrite the file. Now let me show you what is inside this file. Do the right click, open with the editor. So you can see uh, we have these uh, lines of code present on this file. That is step three which is the important step. We will open a code editor and we will write some code and then we will verify that our error is gone or not. Okay, so I have written this code calling the sqlite.startup file, which will try to load the sqlite.dll file. And if some error hit, we have this if block which will show a message box if we have any problem and we are not able to load the DLL. If everything is fine, so we are writing 
console dot write the version of the SQLite. Here we go. Go to the tools and click here on the go and you can see on the right hand side. The very last statement which is which is recently executed result. So guys the startup function done its job perfectly and uh, SQLite 3.dll file is loaded successfully and now you can proceed because your database SQLite database engine is started successfully and finally we got the message as we were expecting so guys this way you can resolve this basic problem of SQLite 3.dll can't be loaded and you can proceed your work I hope this method will work for you if you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and you can subscribe to learn more. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.